Hello everyone, welcome to the third video of Power Query Basic. Today, I will talk about data types in Power Query. Don't get it confused with the formatting on a spreadsheet. On a spreadsheet, we can change the formatting of a numeric value by applying different formatting here. For example, I can apply it to decimal. I can convert it to percentage with the dollar side in accounting formatting, or I can change the formatting to a date. However, when we pay attention to the underlying value in the formula bar here, no matter how we change the formatting, okay, the underlying values remain the same. It doesn't change at all. So that means on the Excel spreadsheet, when we apply the formatting, we control how we want the number to be displayed. There is no impact on the underlying values, which is fundamentally different from defining a data type in Power Query. Let me show you with an example. Okay, I have already put a simple table into Power Query Editor. This is the column that we want to do some experiment on different data types. And this is the original data type I have input. Okay. We can see that on this icon, it is showing ABC123. That means no data type has been defined yet. It means any, any type. When we click on it, we can see that, okay, technically we can convert it into numeric, date termed, test true or false, and binary, even no count. But today I will focus on numeric date and test, okay? Just to give you the idea what is happening when we apply a data type here, and what will be the consequence if we do not have the data type applied correctly, okay? Before I apply any data type, I would also like to open the pull down menu here take a look at the filters. We have only two options under filters, which is equals, does not equal. Of course, we can select one by one, but this is not ideal when we have a long list of values. Now, I'm ready to convert or define this column as decimal number, okay, decimal number. So I would like to draw your attention that what we see here is a value with only five digits after the decimal point, but this is not true. When we look at the underlying value by selecting the cell here, we will see that the underlying value preserves all the digits after the decimal point. So this is basically what decimal means. And we will define the column with numeric, be it decimal, whole number, percentage or currency. Power Query will convert even the number store as test into the numeric, the corresponding numeric. However, we will see that here, originally value was test. We can no way convert a test into numeric. That's why it returns error. For blank cells, be it really a blank cell or a zero link string, it will return no when we define the data type as numeric. Okay, let's try another type of numeric currency here. It is also long as fixed decimal. First of all, we need to tell Power Query whether we want to replace current or we want to add a new step. I don't want to add a new step here, otherwise we will have multiple change type steps here. So I'm going to replace the current. If I take a look, take a closer look at this value, it is now converted into a value with four digits after the decimal. For all currency or fixed decimal, we are talking about four digits after the decimal point. For the test value or the blank, they behave 
the same way as before as other numeric. But now, when I open the filter here, you will see that oh, I have a better options. We can filter by numbers greater than, less than, between. This is cool. Next, let me change it to whole number. Replace current. Now all the values is converted to whole number. So at this point, we should notice that by defining a data type, we are not applying a formatting to the values. We are indeed converting the underlying value. It is a data conversion. We can even convert it into a date. We all know that Excel store date as a number. When the column is defined as date, we will also see that we can filter the column with date filter. We can filter by year, quarter, month, wow, super. Okay. And finally, I would like to convert this column to test. When we convert it to test, we will see that all the original values, all the digits here, it is no longer a numeric, it is a test string. So whatever is in the original cells will be treated as there as a test. And as a test value, a trick node and zero link string differently. For the blank cell, it is node, but for this one, it is blank. So that's why when you open the filter, you will see that we have something called remove empty. When you see that remove empty, actually it will remove all node and zero link string, which is blank. Okay, this is something nice to know. And also, you will see that uh, the test filter will give you more options. You can filter something with begins with, contains, something like that. So by applying the data type to a column, have the benefit of having the right filters. But that is not the only benefit of it. Indeed, it is very important. For example, in the next example here, I'm going to do a merge query. This is my base table. I have the port ID as whole number. In my lookup table, what if the port ID is defined as test? Okay. So in this way, we try to merge two tables with the port ID of different data types. It would not be successful. Let me show you. Merge queries. I want to map this to my query example one. Map this one with this one. You will see that, oh, P is in a column of the same type to continue. Power query already detected. Okay, you have seen that the column from the two tables, they are of different data type. So there will be no merge successfully done in this way. So what can we do? We need to go back. We need to align on the data type of the lookup key and the base table. It doesn't matter which one is which one, as long as they are consistent. Okay. When I have the lookup table defined as, this is the lookup table, when I have the port ID defined as test, then here the port ID should also be defined as test. In this case, I can merge the table successfully without any error. Okay, I can merge it. Another example is related to calculations. Okay, when I have this column defined as whole number and this column defined as test, for example, I cannot perform basic calculation between numbers and test. What does that mean? Let me show you. I just want to select these two columns, add columns. I want to do some basic calculation. I cannot. Even 
if I want to add a custom columns, okay, I want to add the number from the column number to number store as test. Even though there is lower syntax error in this formula, when I click OK, the result is error because I cannot add one to a test. This is a test. Okay. And also something very interesting is when this is node, it will return node. It will not return five. You may expect you will return five, but this is not the case. What if I go back to the previous change and also define this column as whole number? Okay, whole number insert repeats. Now this is whole number. So what would be the result of adding custom? For the first one, second one, third one, no problem. However, when a number is adding a value of node, it will return node. This is something you have to pay attention to. This may not be the situation that you want most of the case. Okay, so now let's examine another scenario. What if I'm going to add the two columns by a different method? I'm going to add columns, standard, and you will still see the same result. Whenever you try to apply some mathematical operation to two columns, when one of the values are node, then the result will be node. If this is not what you want, we should go back before doing the calculation. We should go back to the columns and home replace values, insert. We should replace all the no value to zero. Then you will get what you expect. Now let's see, this is adding a custom column. We have the value. This is using the addition. We have the same value. So such minor differences are very important when you are trying to use Power Query to perform some calculations. And also understanding defining data types is actually converting the underlying values of a column. That is very important. I hope you find this video useful. See you next time. Thank you.